In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best bunch defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player, and I've got a ton to share with you in this video about how we are going to be defending Gun Bunch going forward. So, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button. I'm talking out of this, out of the 245 odd, and I actually have an entire defensive ebook centered around the Chicago playbook and the 245 odd. If you want to get that, it's on sale for just $15. There's going to be a major update to the ebook. I mean, this week. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and grab the ebook. You'll get the ebook for $15, one time purchase of 15 bucks, and you'll get free updates the entire season all the way through. So if you want to get access to the guide, there's a link down in the comments. Uh, I pinned it down there so you can go get, go get access to that uh, for just 15 bucks. So here's what we're going to do. Coaching adjustments. We are going to put our flats on 25. You can put these on 30. Uh, I have actually found that 25 is, is fine. Uh, again, you can put these on 30 if you want to i like 25 for right now until i find that i need to move them back to 30 if they hit me over the top so we're going to go 25 curl flats we're going 10 hooks we're going five okay 25 10 5 and then for bunch what i like to do is put option defense on conservative ball and air defense is going to be to play ball and then really important i'm going to put base line on my bunch defense the reason why it's going to help me it's going to save me an adjustment at the line of scrimmage and it's going to make sure that i'm playing outside leverage on corner routes crossing routes and all of those etc cetera, etc cetera. so let's jump into the video and like i said we're going to be talking about pinch two Pinch two is by far the best play in the game now because of the latest patch and how and what they just did uh, in terms of making cover two a better coverage in terms of improving the way flats play. Um, I just I really believe that this is the best defense in the game. So let's jump into the video. This is the best coverage that you can get against Gun Bunch uh, at least right now as it currently sits. So we're gonna come out in mesh post, but we're gonna run through kind of some of the meta setups out of Gun Bunch. I'm gonna show you a couple different things that are very popular out of this formation. So we're coming out in pinch two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up a very popular uh, play from Gun Bunch. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my bunch actually at the scrimmage here. And uh, we're go what we're going to do is we're just going to simply uh, press our coverage. So I'm going to go to the verticals play, and I'm going to streak A.J. Green on the outside, and then I'm going to basically uh, you know, just run it like this, maybe put a delay fade out there. I will tell you that if you run this defense, people are going to block. So they're going to block people a lot. So that's just something you have to understand. So you could, you could force people to block people, which is going to then open up even more. So we're just going to create a kind of a natural little high-low on the right side. And then uh, we'll just leave the, the wheel route on the back side. You could turn that into a curl or anything you want. But the bottom line is we're looking at this crossing route. So um, all I do is I press coverage. I shade coverage up. I also like to shade my coverage outside. And then what I'm going to do is I'll normally bring these guys like in the box, just like this right here, just so they can play the seam streaks a little better. And then we're going to put purple zones on the field. So we're going to put our slot corner in the outside on a purple zone. We're going to put our middle linebacker on a purple zone. We're going to put our defensive end on the left side into a vertical hook zone. And then I also like to occasionally, you know, you could spy the nose tackle if you wanted to or whatever. You're basically going to be dropping. The way you're practically going to work is you're going to basically play, you know, this zone right here. So um, I'm just going to let the play run. I'm not going to do anything on defense. I just want to show you what's going to happen. And we're just going to watch this crossing route. And this is really the biggest thing. You're going to see here that that class flat is going to drop back drift and he's going to be able to take that away so check we've got verticals basically taken away now let me jump into instant replay real quick and talk just for a moment about the wheel route from verticals so the wheel route from verticals if you watch it it does get over the top okay this is the number one thing you have to look out for and if they're going to this a lot simply man him up um, there's some other things that we can do from match defense that will make that even more difficult for them to throw so uh, for example I could go into I could basically put that safety on that side into an inside quarter zone or whatever to take that away now let's move on to the next concept that is very popular from Gun Bunch, the Z spot and go play. And we're going to show you basically a bunch side flood. So we're going to put our purple zone out there. We're going to put our purple zone on the backside. And then from there, we're basically free to, you know, kind of do whatever. You know, again, I would move this guy for sure inside. This guy you can leave out here to kind of help with the vertical stuff. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of something you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, again, we're going to drop that defensive in on that side into a vertical hook zone. I'm going to probably be playing more of basically this right here. Um, and then what you're going to see is if they run Z spot, uh, something to this extent right here, 
Uh, if you just watch this instant replay, you're going to see not only are we getting great pressure, if I try to throw that, as you see, it gets completely taken away. There's no way that the the, uh, the players, the bunch players, can throw that corner route, especially the beauty of the 2 4 5 odd, is the pressure is so dang good. We walk you through how to set it up uh, out of this. I'm not even trying to set up the blitzes, and, you know, and we're able to do this. So, uh, anyways, that being said, let's jump into another concept from Gun Bunch that is very popular, and this is really why I feel like this was a huge, huge deal from the patch perspective. So we're going to go over the play Flood, uh, which is one of the more popular concepts from Gun Bunch, and we're going to show you how this same exact defense, uh, we're going to put our flats on 25, curl flats on 10 and 5, is going to do a very good job against this as well. So again, we're base aligned, we press. Now, if you notice, this slot corner is outside of the bunch. This is going to mean that he's going to play the flat routes and the out routes really, really effectively. So this purple zone on a curl flat is going to help us significantly. So we're going to set the exact same coverage up. The coverage does not change uh, for, for this. And really, all we have to look out for is anything in this box right here is what we're looking to get with our user. So um, I'm just going to run the play flood. If you look to the left side, you're going to see I'm going to try to throw the out route. And as you see, it's completely taken away. They can't throw the out route, which is one of the more popular ways to beat a lot of the meta defenses that people like to run against gun bunches. They're going to create that high low with that out route. As you saw right there, it did not work. So last but not least, let's talk about um, Mesh Post. Mesh Post, very popular play from Gun Bunch. And we'll show you what this defense does to Mesh Post or Double Post. This is kind of both, those are kind of the same uh, concepts, if you will, from this. So if I'm running Mesh Post, you have, to, you have to understand some of this is user. But basically what's going to happen is, I'm going to stand right here. I see that running back going around. I'm going to come over here, take the running back away, and then I'm going to come back up to the post. And as you see, there's just nowhere for there's just nowhere to go. There's just nowhere to go. The curl flats are going to do a really good job of just coming down and playing those little underneath drags. And as you see, we're able to take away mesh posts. So really, there's not a whole lot that is really open. The last play I want to go over is bunch trail. And this is where, again, you have to understand your user responsibility. You're typically essentially playing the middle of the field. So you're playing any crosser from, from the post or you're playing, you know, something. You're, you're basically a, a middle, middle read zone is practically how you're going to be playing. So let's say they run bunch trail. Well, if you look to the left, you're going to see that this concept is going to be taken away to that side. And then as you can see right there, you know, we're basically poaching back into this deep side. So uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to spy this guy just so I can get myself a little bit more time in the pocket. The pressure from 245 odd is just so good. Um, you know, so we're, you know, we're just going to spy him. But if you watch how this works, typically what you're going to see from Bunch Trail is you're going to see something essentially like this. And you're going to say, okay, I'm going to kick to the drag, and then I'm going to come up to this post, and I've got to bail on that post. If I don't go get that post, I could be in a lot of trouble uh, on this play. But that's the one thing that you have to watch out for with your user. If you see bunch trail, you have to go get the post route, um, unless you're going to put somebody in the deep middle of the field, which I don't, I don't honestly recommend from this because, um, in my opinion, you know, you could put this guy in an inside quarter zone, and I will say that if you do that, he'll defend the post route uh, decently, and I'll show that here in just a second. Um, you know, but you're going to basically be sitting right here. If they run, if they run, I'm going to uh, zone that guy out here. But if I see, oh, I'm open up, okay, I'm coming back in here, and now I'm working to that. But if you look at that inside quarter, you see how if you drop that inside quarter, he didn't get all the way back there. But you see he's kind of in that area and can kind of bait some of those throws. So that's just something to keep in mind. But, guys, this is the best way to defend Gun Bunch that I've found up until this point. I think it's a very good defense. It, keeps a, it contains a lot of what Bunch players like to do and if you can combine this with some pretty significant pressure you're going to find a lot of success against the gun bunch so thanks for watching the video if you want to get my full nickel 245 odd defensive guide i'm going to put a link to it in the description i believe it's the best defense in the entire game i think you're going to see that most pro players are going to be running this defense in the thanksgiving uh, tournament because it is that consistent and it is that effective you get great pressure and you get the best personnel on the field possible. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the entire 245-odd defensive ebook, it's on sale for just $15 at the link down in the description.